welcome in. So, this is what I'm going to do today. Um, okay, so I got thinking last night, and I built this here, and we put the castle walls and stuff in. Now, I've already ordered more medieval building sites uh, to go with the plan. And I started thinking, we built this up here on the museum, and I gave it some thought, and I really think what would be the best thing to do is <laughs> extend the cliff all the way across here. So, like, take this cliff here, extend it all the way across, put the houses on it, and build the castle all the way across on the cliff. That way it's all together. So, we're going to start that process together this afternoon. And that's what we're going to do together. So we're going to go move these houses. We are going to build another little tiny cliff. Like into here somehow. I thought about this too. So kind of into here. Maybe like over here. In this area, we're going to build a cliff and put the shrinking shack on it. And then we're going to move these houses up onto a cliff. We're going to extend and build the castle. And we'll try to build the moat around it if we can, like a little bit of water. We're also going to build the allery and the post office. So we're going to get started this afternoon. We're going to work on this a little bit. We need to work on it if we're going to do all this because this is pretty ambitious. So... I want to be done with this no later than May. That is my hope that we can have this all done. I've already ordered the medieval, medieval building sites. We've already got 300,000 bells in our pocket that I that I already got out and I've I got to organize, try to get arranged. We need time to talk. Time we're going to talk to Tom Nook, and we need time that we want layout changes and that we want to move a house. And then we're going to just start. But the first house, we're going to put it down into an empty space. And then we're just going to keep moving on from there this afternoon together. Um, hopefully, it'll go quick enough that we can start the clip together. This is what we're going to work on. This will be the last change I make, I promise. <laughs> as far as these houses are concerned. But if we're going to do that, I feel like in my heart down somewhere in the deep part of me this is the way to do it so we're going to do it these will be the only houses that we're moving so we're going to just start with poppy she's up there i do believe so let's start with poppy and let's just work our way with all the ones that are up there so we're going to talk to her we're going to move her house we're going to put it we're not even going to worry about it because it's not going to stay there so we cleared out a bunch of flowers and stuff this weekend or last week before the bunny day hunt. There's plenty of room where Rodeo used to live. We're just going to place her there. And then we're going to time travel. And then we're going to order more of what we think we need to build the castle. We're going to move another house and so on and so on and so on. <laughs> um, and this will be the last time I do this. I promise. No more. Uh, but I just got to thinking about it. And it would, I think, look a lot better if we would connect it all. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I should have done some of this in stream last night and figured this out. But I just wasn't uh, thinking I was a little bit tired in stream last evening. When I went upstairs, I took it upstairs with me and I started thinking. And I was like, you know what might be a better idea? These are cedars that I'm trying to grow. Hopefully I've got them spaced out. So we're just going to put Poppy here. This would be a good spot. And she should fit here. They'll just do a little bit of landscaping. We're just going to tell them this is the spot. And we're going to keep traveling forward. We're going to keep traveling forward because we need to keep moving them. Now I need to go make sure of who else is up here before I continue. I know it's me. I know it's Poppy. I know it's Raymond. I think it's Hamlet, right? Is that all? And Ioni. Okay. 
So let's just let's just save it and time travel forward. I hope you all had a really good day today. And I hope you're having a good hump day. By the time you watch this, it'll be Wednesday. So I guess you're I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, and there's more fun things coming up. So stay tuned. We're gonna do a lot of more neat things on the channel. But we do have this build to work on and to finish, and we really need to finish it bad. Then we will, like I said, be deleting ROM and then starting over. And then we're going to start City Core. Um, and I'll put a pull up on the channel. You're going to get a choice between spring and summer for that one. So uh, put on your thinking camps. Start thinking about when you would like to see it go, what season you would see it going in. But uh, it won't be winter uh, because I'm kind of, um, <laughs> I'm kind of tired of winter. I don't know how else to say it. I try to be nice about things, but I'm just kind of tired of it. So we're going to listen to Isabel, and then we're going to go over and we're going to do it one, uh, we're going to do two for one. We're going into Resident Services, and we're going to order Castle Gates, and we're going to move one of the others, and then we're going to try to position them. And we're just going to keep doing it till we get what we need and until we have it all empty. And then maybe we can build the cliff together if there's time. So let's, if we keep moving quickly, we can do it together. So, yeah, I just started thinking like we need to play. What we're going to do is we're going to build the cliff. Then we're going to place them and then we'll build it. And, and then we'll be done with that part finally. Hogwarts has been kind of a thing for me and then I had a subscriber uh, crispy who got me an image of the shrieking shack so we're gonna do that together too this should be I'm hoping that this will turn out to be a very um, pretty build once I'm all done but yeah I think that this will be the better way to go about it so we'll do I only next and then we'll uh, move on to another person. Let's make sure that Poppy got moved out of here. And it looks like she did. I don't see her anymore. So um, we're going to do Ione next. Then we'll do Hamlet, Raymond, and me. And there should be enough space where I move Fang. They're not going to stay there. So it's not going to be a huge deal. They're going to move back as soon as we get this done. So let's do Ioni this time and order Castle Gates. And then we'll travel forward and do it again. I just like to do things on camera. Let you know what I'm doing. Show you what I'm doing. So the next time we come back, like on a stream or something, you're not all confused. Like, what did she do? <laughs> um, and I'm really bad about stuff like this. So hopefully the City Core build won't go like this. Um... So let's go to Nook Shopping. Now, I don't know how much Castle Gates are. I think these are a little more pricey than the building sides. But that's okay. I got plenty of money in the bank and plenty of money in my pocket. So let's just see what we can get. We need about five. We're going to order about five. Oh, yeah. These are expensive. We might order five. Let's go get a little more money out of the ABD. Now, this will be the expensive part. Uh, we're going to go ahead and order five of these. Hopefully, with uh, we'll just withdraw. And I have more fossils I can sell too, so we'll just do this, and hopefully it'll be enough. Now, um, I have a way to put some of this back, so we're just gonna order five of these and hope that five is enough, because this stuff is expensive. When you're building castles and stuff. It takes a lot of money, so. That's okay. That's three, four. <laughs> Don't have enough bells. Okay, well, we're going to stop right there. We're going to see if that's enough, because I really don't want my bank going lower. And we still got to move these houses. So let's do Ioni this time. And we'll keep moving and grooving forward. Uh, 
Okay, we're going to talk in my structure. Uh, I want layout changes. And we want to move an island home, Shady. Tom Shady. <laughs> He's so shady. And we're going to move by Oni. Okay, so we're going to move her. And we're going to see what she thinks about the idea. And she'll say, sure, like they always do. So she's cute, though. told you uh, her paws and everything uh, glow in the dark I didn't know that until just a uh, while back and then uh, Angel told me that that her paws glowed in the dark and I, I really didn't even really know that so that's kind of cool he's gonna take more of our money and we're gonna move Ioni we're just gonna move him in real close together because we're like I said we're not gonna leave him there kind of gonna leave him in the same spot maybe so I know that's where I moved them all, but we'll see if they'll fit. We can always replant trees if we need to. And we're just going to keep on. I don't want to do it here because I want these trees to grow. So that's why I'm not touching that spot. We've got, oh wait, I don't want them to take my money tree. Let me get the money off of it first. This is a lot of houses to move. And we've put... The flowers on the beach and stuff so they won't fit. So we kind of have to do it this way. And we put Fang and Rodeo on the beach so they would be to themselves. Okay, this is good. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just good enough. We'll leave the stuff that we ordered in the mailbox. And uh, that'll be good enough for now. Let's keep moving forward and do it again. So that's Poppy and Ioni. So we'll do Raymond, Hamlin, and me. And then once we do, we can build the cliff. Okay. And for those of you who don't time travel, I completely understand that. And it is totally up to you whether you choose to do this. I do it because it's a lot... Um, faster for me especially during these big builds and things that we're doing um i think this is the most i've ever time traveled um i didn't travel during time travel during rags to riches because it cost you know ten thousand bells each time you did it so and ramen is a work in progress really because if you think about it in december was when i finished rags to riches right before Right before or right after surgery. I think it was right before surgery I finished Rags to Riches. And so, I mean, if you think about it, uh, ramen is still, you know, like was being, like we didn't have any inclines, no bridges. Well, we had one bridge. I think we had maybe, no, maybe we had two bridges. But we had no inclines before I started building Hogsmeade. So, I mean, we've come a long way. Um, eventually if I can, I'll put some before and after pictures, like on the Discord and things like that. And you guys can take a look at, uh, like, how far ramen really has come. Uh, but yeah, it's come a long way. So we'll do, we'll do Raymond or we'll do Hamlet next. It doesn't matter, but we'll get one of them and we'll get everybody moved here. Yeah. See what Isabel has to say. It's Tuesday. Oh, Flick's here. We don't have time for Flick today, but we do need to use him a little bit um, in the future when we get this done. Um, we'll probably ha I'll have to clean up flowers and weeds. That's okay. I'm okay with that. I just want to get this part of it done. So let's go see Tom again. Tom's a little bit shady in my my from my point of view. Um, he just shady to me like takes all our money and stuff all the time so who we got left Raymond and Hamlet and me okay we're not doing bad we aren't like I said gonna build a separate little incline over there or not incline cliff over there and put the shrieking shack on it and then we're gonna build a post office here in the front a train st um, a little train the train 
We're going to build the train, the post office, and the gallery. And I think we'll be done after this. But we still have work to do. We have to build the trick and shack. I kind of wanted to build like a little like pond or lake out um, by the trick and shack. So, oh no, that's not what I meant to hit. Yeah, he can't give us any more advice. Just take our money. That's, uh, that's. <laughs> he could just take our money, but he has no advice for us. But that's okay. Okay, we want layout changes. An island home. And we're going to move Hamlet this time. Just want to make sure you hit the right person because you want to make sure that you're moving the ones that you really want to move. Because, uh, yes, I've done that before. Like, moved one and then realized, oh, no, that's not who I wanted to move. It's kind of like, ugh, like an awe moment, you know. And uh, once we do this, then when we go to place them back, we'll probably place them on a stream, maybe. And build the castle back. But, yeah, I think this is going to be good. And he says, yes, it's fine. So Tom's going to take my money again. And I've got lots of money trees, too, that should be grown. And things like that from where I did Bunny Day. And every time I would time travel to get more eggs last week, I would plant a tree. So I, I've got ways to get some of that money back. So that's good. So. Uh, what do we need to talk about as far as channel goes? Do I have his kit? I do, don't I? Just want to make sure I did it. Yeah. I was talking. I just want to make sure I wasn't talking and not doing what I was supposed to. Um, let's see. Let's just put him over here for now. He's not going to stay, so this will be fine. They're just going to do it here and say, this is the spot. And then we're going to time travel and do the Raymond and then me. Now, me, I don't know, might be a little different. My house is a little bigger, so it might be a little different for me, but we'll see. I think it's just me, Raymond, and Raymond left. But we'll look before we knock off what's mine and make sure that's it. Um, channel business. Ah, uh, we got a bunny day picnic challenge still going on. I'm going to make a post about that tomorrow. Uh, you'll be watching this Wednesday, so I just wanted to say something. I'm really sorry I was so quiet all day Tuesday, um, which was today, actually. Um, I didn't feel very well, and uh, my neck was hurting really bad. Um, so I kind of stayed upstairs, but I was like, I got to give him something. And I also like to make you a video even if i don't get to do it every day i like to be it every other day um and it may be something i start going to if it would be all right with everybody it's just to do it every other day on um, video every other day um so i stream a lot and you get content that way also but anyway the bunny day picnic challenge ends on march the 31st but i've extended it to april the 1st so you can submit your photos and keep working on it. So that's Monday. Next Monday would be the last day you can submit your photos on the Discord. If you're interested, you can click link on my channel and join the Discord. And under that challenge will be under, I think it's actually just Bunny Day Picnic Challenge under that tab. Um, I am hoping that uh, I've got another game coming in April that I'm going to do on my own. It's not a collab. It's just something that I'm doing on my own. I'm thinking I'm going to do that one on, I think it's a Saturday. Um, I'm not going to say the date yet, but I'm doing it on a Saturday at 11 a.m. in the morning. Now, I want to explain to you why I'm doing that. There are some people who always don't get to participate. So, I think I'm going to start mixing up the games a little bit. Um, on different days and times so that it gives everyone an opportunity to participate to win the prizes to come over and join me if they want to so I'm going to do this one on a Saturday in the morning um, I'm going to do it at 11 a.m. Uh, I'm going to put a pull up on the channel this week about it but um, I think that will enable some of you that don't usually get to do things like that to get to do it the next one that I do I'm going to plan it for like a Monday night at 7 p.m. So some of those that are that it's easier to get over there at night can get over there at night and participate. I've also got something new dreamed up. 
Uh, my husband and I are going to sit down together. He said he would help me. This one will be a little more involved, uh, but it's something fun that I want to try. So we're going to try that too. So stay tuned because there's lots of good stuff coming to the channel. Um, so yeah, the Bunny Day Picnic Challenge is the first thing that's coming up close. So like I said, you have to on Monday, April the 1st to uh, submit your pictures for the Bunny Day Picnic Challenge. Um, we probably will go ahead. I said recently back a little ways that I wouldn't be doing any more design challenges. Uh, I think that I'm going to go ahead and do a design challenge and then a game, one game monthly. There are a lot of people working on these design challenges. Like I had someone in stream on Monday night tell me they were working on my bunny picnic challenge. So I think I'm going to keep doing them. I'm getting a good response from them. Last time I had three people. Uh, this time I think I may have more people than I think. I hope. So I think it's catching on. So I think I'm going to start doing, keep doing them. So there's going to be a game in April and then also a new design challenge in April. So stay tuned for that. Um, we're going to do another design challenge. This one will be fun and I think everyone will really like this one. And then we're going to do one in May. So yeah, just stay tuned. We're going to do lots of fun things. Lots of fun things. Lots of prizes. Um, yeah, stay tuned. It's going to be fun. We're going to move Raymond now. Oh, he's just my favorite. Isn't he so cutie? Look at his cute little face. His cute little glasses. He's my Harry. He's my, he's my Raymond. My Harry Potter. Raymond is Harry Potter. So, And then Raymond... I will be keeping Raymond, Marlo, um, and Rodeo for City Corp build. I won't be able to keep them, but I'll um, amiibo them back in. So, yeah. So, they'll be familiar faces whenever we do the new one together. So, yeah, lots of fun things coming up this summer. I think we should have a pretty fun summer together on the Crossing Maniac channel. So, ooh, look, they grew. Okay, good. That means, uh, that means, since they grew, let's just put this one here for now, that we need to dig those up and plant more. So let me do that real quick while we're time traveling. So then that way I can grow more, because I'm going to need more for this forest I'm making. So let's do that together real quick, too. We're just going to do a bunch of stuff that we need to do for the build today. So, so let's do it. At least we have stuff to do. Like, I don't, I don't mind making videos. I don't mind it at all. Um, I actually enjoy the video part of it anymore also. I just look at it this way, and this is what Nana Day Gaming or Angie told me way back when I first started. And I said, I don't feel like I communicate very good in videos. And Angie said... Just treat it like you would a live stream. And ever since then, it's gotten easier for me. Um, but I like to have things to do when we're doing them. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like to make a video and then make it feel like, oh, I didn't have anything to do that day. I just got on here to, you know, like, I like to have something to do. So, let's dig these up and plant these while we're time traveling. That way we can get them to grow a little quicker. So, that's three more that I have. That's good. Hopefully we got enough castle stuff. Um, I'm hoping that that's the case. Um, <laughs> this stuff is expensive, so I'm hoping this is the last little bit of this stuff I'll have to buy. And I'm hoping that it comes in the right color, but I think that it does. So let's plant three more. We know three spaced out here will grow, so let's do it. And then that, that makes this better for me because then I haven't planted I wonder if one more would grow like right down here, but it would. So let's grow these. That's four more. And let's go up here and make sure. Let's get our nook miles because we need to get those. These are important. I'm running out of nook miles. I need to work on that and uh, might do that in stream Friday, like work on that a little bit too. Let's see if I'm the only one left. I think it's just me. Cool. Nope. It's me. Oh, that's right. It will just be me once Raymond's out of there. Okay, cool. Let's do that then. 
So we planted our trees. So let's keep going. Now I don't expect to get full grown cedars out of, out of that this time. But at least they're planted. Right? So that's all that matters. And we'll go take these and put them off somewhere. Off at another location that we... We're really not building in right now, and we'll just keep growing them. And we need to do bushes that way, too. We need to grow a bunch of bushes. So maybe before we go off camera today, I'll plant a bunch of them, too. Yeah, I'm sincerely hoping that, um, not to keep talking about it, because I know it bothers some people. I am, did I save that? I don't know if I saved or not, because we were talking. Okay, we're going to cross our fingers that I did. Um, then my neck gets feeling better. Um, if it doesn't, I may have to go see a chiropractor. And I don't want to. I've had to do a lot of things this year and battle back a lot of things that were scary to me. And I'm proud of myself because I've done it and come out all the much better for it. Um... So if I have to, I have to, but I'd rather not. Um, but I can't keep spending a fortune in Icy Hot and hoping that it's going to right itself. Um, I just can't. I think it's a combination of things. I think it's all the driving I do because I'm on the road quite a bit. Like I'm on the road. I bet you I'm on the road for two or three hours a day, every day. And I'm also like doing all this so like I think it's a combination of like looking at screens and then driving and things like that um, I didn't feel good this morning so I stayed home today I usually take care of my mom and my dad and my grandson but my neck hurt so bad I couldn't hardly even turn my head so I was like mm, I don't think I should be driving like this today so I stayed home but you know I've got a really good support system and my family's awesome um when i can't my sister does and when my sister can't i do so we're, we're pretty good about doing it together so and i'm very fortunate because you know i get to do that and spend time with my parents so i'm a lucky girl okay it's thursday this time All right, we gotta keep, do our part to keep the island safe. Over and out, Isabel. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go visit your pal Tom Shady here in a minute because we gotta move my house. Okay, cool. We might have time to actually build some of this cliff together. This didn't take as long as I thought it would. And we already started growing our trees, so that's awesome. So we'll see if this one will grow or not. I'm not sure about this one, but I think the others will be fine because that's how I planted the others. We do need to stunt more, um, but we're not going to stunt anymore for now. And I think I'll just put me down here, put me down here if I'll fit, and then we'll build the cliff, and then I'll start moving them back. Uh, but I, I just like, I, like I said, I started thinking about this, and I was like, you know, what would make more sense if I would extend that cliff out and make them all up on the cliff. So I thought, mm, okay. <laughs> Because I don't want people to get wore out with me. But also, um, I kind of think it'll just be better this way. Okay, so we're going to move me. Oh, no, no, no. I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. Excuse me. Because I have to say it's about my home. So, yes, about my home. I'm going to live up there with them because... You know, I'm supposed to be Hermione, so that's going to happen. Well, Ione is going away, uh, and of course he charges us 8,000 bells to move our house. But we're actually supposed to be, uh, what is it? Uh, the one that did all this, but oh no, we still get charged to do everything. That's not shady at all, is it? Tom Nook. Okay, we're almost done with this part. 
so what we're going to do is we're going to plant a few bushes too this time before we uh, travel forward and start building the cliff. So let's do that. Let's place my house. We, I'm not going to get the money spot or anything like that. Um, I've been really neglectful of that kind of thing. Uh, before we finish this in May, I am going to get all the recipes off ramen that I can get. Just as I say I have them. So let's just do it here. It won't hit. It won't fit here. I had a feeling about it. Okay. Mine's going to be a little harder because mine's a little bit bigger. Let's go up here and see if it'll just fit maybe in between one of these for now. Nope, that's where I'm going with trees. It can't go there. Okay. I don't want to get rid of any cedars because I want them for the, for the build. Maybe we can just put it here for now. Let's see if it'll fit. Ah, it's going to take a cedar out, isn't it? Let's move it back a little bit. And I think we're good to go. Yep, good to go. Uh, it's not going to stay here. So I'm not too concerned about where it's really going. Because once I get the cliff built, we'll put them all back together. And then they'll go up there and we'll build the rest of the castle. Alright, we're all set. Let's put some of this stuff up out of our pocket. See, it breeded another blue rose. I knew I breeded the right one. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, Angie gave me a bunch and then I was walking around like cleaning up flowers uh, last week and for, for bunny day as a matter of fact. So we wouldn't, I wouldn't have a bunch of flowers just like laying around, you know. And um, I noticed it and I was like, I think I breeded my own. And I didn't realize it because um, she had given me a bunch. Let's get some bushes out and grow some. But yeah, that's great. That's great that I bred it on my own. I've never been able to do that. So the blue rose is something I have now can say that I actually did do on my own. But I never got a green mum this time. But I have done it before on the island before ramen. I just let them grow like that. Grow like that wild. Now, that doesn't always work, so I want to be clear. Um, but once in a while, you'll just get lucky like that. And it'll, it'll if you just let them grow wild like that, every once in a while, you'll get lucky and you'll get a hybrid that you've never got before. Okay, let me see. I think the one that's going to be in season is the Camilla. So we're going to, we're going to plant some of these. No, we're going to do pink and red. I think it only comes in pink or red. So let's do these. We're going to just make a little section over here. Let's go around here. It's going to look like a mess, but I promise you when we get done with this, it'll be all tidied up, tweaked, and pretty. <laughs> I promise. We're going to go over here where we had Able Sisters before, where there's nothing, hopefully, or Ioni. Yeah, this is where we had Ioni before. And we're going to plant some bushes and put our trees down. Because this won't matter over here. Because bushes will grow. So let's just do this real quick. So we've got bushes. We'll plant the cedars. And we'll really be started. Because we need to do this. We need to get the bushes. We need to get the trees. This is stuff that we can do on video. Then when we get on stream to tweak it. And like really do a lot of building. Then we'll have a bunch of stuff to pull from. And it'll be a lot better. So, and we'll just grow the cedars there. Like, we'll just put three or four down every time. You know what I mean? And we'll just pull from them. So, we're just gonna we're just gonna grow a bunch. I do this every once in a while. So, there we go. We're gonna put these trees up where they belong. Cause we grew these. We'll stunt a few coming up pretty soon. Let's get a few more full-grown ones first, and then we'll start stunting them, too. And we've got plenty of flowers. I don't think flowers are a problem, because i got plenty on the beach. So, we'll keep some of these Lily of the Valleys, too. And that was a question I asked on stream last night, and they all acted like they kept their Lily of the Valleys. What we don't use, we'll either get rid of or sell. Um, but I do want to keep some of these hardwoods, and of course, the fruit trees. Uh, so... We will keep that too. We'll go over here and get rid of some of this stuff out of my pockets. This stuff will grow and then 
we can build like more than one forest if we need to so that'll be good let's get some of this out of my pocket it's been in here for a while the lily of the valleys you uh can keep you can't pluck those in case you're new to the game and don't know much about it you can't pluck the lily of the valley and um it won't as far as i know it won't multiply so you actually have to get a five star island and keep one consistently i think you do get one every certain um maybe it's every certain number of days or something like that all right let's travel forward yeah so it's just good to do like this is kind of how i build like, I know I'm not real consistent with a lot of things, but, like, I'm going to grow my trees now, and I'm going to grow my bushes. I've got plenty of flowers. Um, I'm going to build my cliff. I'm going to build my castle now. Um, and then we're going to move on. And we're going to clean up things as we go. Because um, most of the time, that's how I build. It's a little bit of chaos, <laughs> but... It always works out in the end for me, so just stick with it. I'm, I promise you I'm going to get it and finish it. It just, I just got to thinking, and I was like, oh, I think we need to build, extend that cliff and build it all up on a cliff, and then put in more inclines, and then, like, build the castle all the way back across. So that's what we're going to do. I think we have room. We're going to count when I go back onto here. Actually, I need to do that, too. I think we have enough room for one to two more inclines, which is perfect because I think that's all the rest of what we're going to need. Uh, but when we build this on this cliff, we're going to have to put in more inclines. So this is perfect anyway. All right, let's do this. All right. We're going to start the cliff now, and hopefully we can get most of it done while we're making the video. We've got bushes growing. We've got trees growing. So we've actually done a lot on here today. We moved everybody off. <laughs> we um, grew one round of cedars, and we're going to grow another round. And we did some bushes. We've got plenty of flowers. And if I need fruit trees, I'm going to figure out how to scatter them. What I might do is that in whatever area we decide is going to be like a little bit of a forest, uh, we may build like a little bitty farm in the forest and then just put this, the like couple of each kind in the forest. Oh yeah, Red's here. She's telling us to be wary of. He's shady too. So um, let's take a poll in the comment box below. And I'll, if I can remember, I'll, I'll pin a comment on the comment box. But who do you think is more shady, Red or Tom? And then we'll take a poll. And you can leave it in the comment box below who you think is more shady, Red or Tom. Okay, we're going to get rid of these. So we're going to pick up the money. We need it anyway. We spent so much money on castle parts. Oh, that's okay. All part of the process. All part of the process. Okay. So let's go ahead and get rid of these two. Um, that way uh, we have room to build this cliff that we're going to build. He's pretty shady, let me tell you. First of all, he knows that the art he's selling is not legitimate. There's no way he can't know. I'm not buying that. All right, let's start this. I changed into my Harry Potter clothes today. I thought, well, we're going to work on it. We might as well change into our clothes. All right, let's do this. We're going to rework this. We're going to we're going to see what we can do here. I do want to leave enough room in the back of here to maybe make a little secret area down here and put like a natural ramp or something here. So I don't really want to block it, 
But we can still do that off the back of the clip. So I think we're good. So we're going to start here and we're going to take it across. I just want to work the shovel right because I don't want to have a lot of prop. Well, I said that. Oh, an egg. I'm still finding eggs from the egg hunt. I was doing it last week too and I was still finding bells. So that was funny. I couldn't believe I was still finding bells, but I did. We're just going to build it and we're going to build it right across. And this will actually give us more room for the museum too. If we decide that we want to before we get off of here and doing this part of it. And I, if you remember, I did Hogsmeade this way too. I had the house this position, then I started the project and decided I needed to move them around. It's just, you never know when you're building. Um, let's move this to another location out of the way, but so we still have it. Let's just move it here for the lettuce. I like to have a storage shed and a crafting table by side everywhere where I'm building. I want to think about this for just a second. So I want them all on the same cliff and I want them to kind of coincide with the museum, right? So the museum is here. So do I build it all the way across? Yeah, I think I think so. Let's just start it like this and see how I feel or how we feel about it. On Animal Crossing, building is not an exact science. It's just you think about it, and if you think, oh, I don't like that, now I need to change it. Uh, sometimes that's the way it goes, unfortunately. Okay. We did this. Not going to be enough room for another incline, is there? But, will this run into, yeah, this will run into here. So, I'm not sure that's, I'm not sure this far out's a good idea. So, let's take some of this off. Let's, let's leave it like this and let's build it, let's build it from here. Because we don't want, okay, let's try it. We don't want the two inclines to run into each other, um, but we could make a double incline. So that would work out here for sure. But we have to we have to position it in such a way that that will work. So let's keep going. Just gotta build it good enough to get them all on here. Gotta trust the process. See what this looks like we got to build it far enough across so we have to build it i would say probably all the way across to get them all on because that's a lot of houses so this incline here might have to go away in order to do it because we do not they would not let me put another incline now wait a minute, would, or would they? Would they let me put another incline there or into here? They might here, but it would make more sense if they would let me do it here. Okay, let's just try it. Let's just try it, all we can do is try. You have to be really careful too because I took a lot of space off this cliff last night. Thinking I was going to build a forest into there, so it may not let me dig, see? Okay. Remove that so I can move around it for a minute. Let's add a little more back into this. It won't hurt anything. So, just have to build how we can build. And that's just going to have the, how it's going to be on here. <laughs> It's going to be a little tighter than what I expected. I don't think they'll let me put an incline into this. 
What if we start? Okay. Bear with me. What if we just started it back here? Let's just start it from this point. This would actually work because this is closer to the museum. And then I think they would let us put an incline on. Let's try it. The nice thing about Animal Crossing is you can put it in, take it out, put it in, take it out as many times as you need to. It's not something that you have to really like. I mean, if you want to spend the money. Because it is a lot of bells to move these houses and all this stuff all the time. So this time I want to make sure that I actually have it the way I want it. Because I, I don't want to have to do it again. But I did it for Hogsmeade and it worked out and I, and I left it. So I think this will be good. So let's do it. Let's keep trying it. Oops. Gonna need more space there. Definitely gonna have to have an incline. Not gonna be able to do it without it. But that's okay. I mean, we ex I expected that. Yeah, I think I like that. Because it'd be like the castle up on the hill. I like it. So we're gonna do it just like that. It's going to take some time to get it in there, though. I don't have a sling. Yeah, I do. I really don't have time to be chasing balloons. I don't know what it is about balloons, but I can never resist a balloon. You just never know what could be in it. You know what I mean? Like, you never know. Let's work on this for a few more minutes, and then we'll wrap it up, and then... Um, oh, cool. Wood shade lamp. That's not bad. I can't put that away. It's too much money. Okay. All right, so let's go. Where is my step up ladder kit? There we go. This will help me. So let's just use that. So if we need to get up and down, we can. I think this will be fine. Now, where the incline is going to go, I don't know. But, but I'll figure it out. I'm afraid if I started any further back, it's not going to look right. But maybe I should start it. Back one more for the sake of an incline and this this is all about planning and figuring it out I had a bad feeling about this all along because the museum was up on the cliff and the rest of the house is what weren't and I was like I don't, I don't know so um, we'll see I start up back one more that way they might let us put an incline where that stone incline is. Because I think they're going to stop us from doing it if we don't. So let's start it. But then they won't be close up to the museum, will they? Can we start it back here, maybe? Is that the same place I had it? No, I don't think it is. Let's do it like this, then. And that should be enough space for houses and things of that nature. We want to shape it, too. I, I got to shape these cliffs a lot better than I'm doing it because it is going to matter. I've, it's going to matter how they look. I like this a little bit better. This gives you a little more space, a little more room to groove, I think. All right, I like this. Let's keep going. Let's just build it all across before we wrap it up, just to see what we think. We can get an incline to test it, but I don't know if it'll go in yet or not because of, uh, and I know you gotta build them kind of pretty, pretty across to get it, so. This is going to be nice when I get it done. I keep thinking to myself, 
I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Sorry guys, I, I, I'm, this, this shovel, all, this on this construction has always been like the shovel and the water and stuff. I'm telling you, it's, it's all I can do to do it sometimes. I think I'm in the right position. I guess it's my depth perception, really. And then I'm not, so. It's gonna be a tight, 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 tight fit, but, oh well. The next one I build, I'll remember to not put things in so tight. <laughs> It'll definitely be cozy, that's for sure. As long as it doesn't back into my shrieking shack and my hogsmeade, I really don't care, to be honest. Um, and we need to shape these out better. It does make a difference on how it looks on the map. So, you want to be careful how you shape them. You want to shape them so they look decently on the map. So, keep that in mind while you're doing it. You want it to look, you know, you want it to look natural. Or as natural as it can look. This is better. I like this. Alright, let's go back up here and give it a shot. Let's build it across and see what we think. I think uh, the only thing I'm concerned about is inclines. Because um, you have to put one on. There's no way you can't. So, is there enough? But there's enough space to walk around it. So, I would think they might let me put one here. It doesn't run into this one. So, I would think if we build this up enough, we could put it here. So, let's just try it. Because there will have to be one there. I think it's going to have to go all the way across to accommodate what we need. Otherwise, I'd say we would stop at a certain point. But I think in order to get all the houses on it and to get um, two inclines on it. And to get all the castle parts on it, it's going to have to be pretty big. And this part here, to me, doesn't bother me um, at all. But I've already put those two inclines in in the front. I think I'm only allowed two more. So I want to be really careful with how I go about this. Because I want to have enough room for all the inclines and bridges I want. So I'm just going to have to give this some thought. I'm just going to build... Build and build. Okay. Yeah, I think this is good. And then we just have them um, on here. I'm not sure how I feel about that space in the front that's empty. But I really don't know. We can fill it in. I just don't know what we would put there. But that would give me more space too for like the statues and things that I didn't have before. So we can do that. We can fill that in. So let's fill that in and see how that looks. And then we can start the houses at a certain point. I think that works. Yeah, I like this. Now, the one thing that I want to try before we wrap it up. I know my videos have been going a little bit longer. Is I want to go get an incline and see if it will work. So give me just a second here to do this. I don't know if I'm going to have enough on the front of here to try it. So let me put a little more on it. And then we're going to try it. Then we're going to wrap it up for the day. We're not going to leave it there. We're just going to try to see what and see what they say to me. Because we're going to have to have one where these houses go. So it'd be better to place it first before you place the houses. And then um, 
you've got it all set. I don't think it's going to let me if I come across like that. Because I think it's going to tell me it's running into the other. I do like the way it looks, though. Okay, let me get away from it. Let me look at it on the map. This is a lot of work. But it will be worth it when we get it done. Let's look at it. Yeah, I like that. It'll all be there together like that. I like that. Okay. So, we're going to leave it. And we're going to pray and cross our fingers. Let's go get a, let's go get an incline and just try it. I don't think it's going to let me put it on yet because I don't think there's enough of it there. But we'll just kind of try to build something into there that will at least let me see. Oh, look at Rodeo. He's working out. He's like, yeah, baby. <laughs> I think he's digging his home on the beach. Okay, Shady, we're spending some more money. Come on over here. Talk to me, Tom. We want to talk infrastructure. Bridges and inclines. Okay, let's make an incline. Okay, so I'm going to do the stone again because that's what we got over there. They're a little cheaper, so I actually don't even have to get any more money out of the bank. I have enough to pay for it. Oh, if it'll let me do it, we'll do it. And if not, then it's okay. What we'll do is we will just keep it in our pocket until we're ready and we'll keep working with this. But let's go test it before we wrap it up and see if by chance it will let us do that. Just maybe on the off chance that it would let me do it. Oh, I love this. And we left this staircase back here, like a little, little hidden staircase into Hogwarts. So that works for me. Let's see if it's going to let me. I don't think it will, but we'll see. Nope. It's If it's too close and in kind like this, it'll block. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. I wonder if it'll let me do it like here, though. Let's see what it says. Okay, it doesn't see a stretch of cliffs. How about here? Like, this would be a little weird, I guess, but... Nope. I will bump up a cliff. Alright. So, we may have to rethink this. Because if it's not going to let me have an incline onto here, I don't know what we would do. Because nobody will be able to get in and out of their houses and stuff. So this is going to take a lot of tweaking. But this is the way we're going to do it. Because I just think when you're really being downright honest about it, this is the best way to do it. So what we might have to do is... Okay, so let me think about this logically. <laughs> For just a second and we'll, we'll get ready to end it. We well, might have to take this one out, which I kind of had thought anyway, so I'm not too upset about it. And then we could put one here, which would make a lot of sense. Now, where do we put... Would it let us put one, like... Uh, but that doesn't make any sense because now you're going to get up here. We could push it back one more, I guess. Okay, I'll work on this, and by Friday I'll have it all worked out when we go on to stream. And then maybe we'll be ready to build the castle part. I'll work on this this evening. This will be a project like homework. We'll work, I'll work on it and see what I can come up with. Um, if you like the video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and a like on the video. Um, be sure to let me know in the comment box below who you think is more shady. Tom Nook or Red. 
And if you're not subscribed to the channel, um, please hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of fun stuff going, a lot of fun stuff going on. Come over and join the Crossing Crew. Um, that's about it for today. <coughs> Excuse me. Have a fantastic hump day. And I will see you in stream at 5.30 p.m. for Stardew Valley. Um, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody. Okay, everyone. So I'm back. So I lied. We're not done. We got mail from Angel. And I just wanted to give her a shout-out in the video. Um, I shout-out a lot of people. Um, but um, Angel is really good. Um, so I just kind of wanted to give her a shout-out this time. So she sent me mail. So let's see what she sent me. These are from Angel. So let's see what it is. Seminole signage. How oh, Angel, you are the best. Thank you so much. We are going to use these. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's so cute. We're, we are going to use these even in our Hogsmeade build. So... Thank you to Angel. That's awesome. I appreciate you in many more ways that you can ever understand. Um, I appreciate all my mods. Um, but thank you, Angel, so much for sending me mail. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. You're awesome. Um, and I'm giving you a shout-out in this video, so I sure hope you watch it. Uh, until the next time, everyone, have a fantastic day. Um, and uh, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.